Hey guys, today's parable is the parable of the unmerciful servant. This is from Matthew chapter 18. This is verses 21 through 35. It's quite a long parable, so I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to do my best to summarize it here. So it begins when Peter asks Jesus, How many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times. And Jesus says, Not seven times, but 77 times, or, or 70 times seven times. Right? The, the amount of times does not matter here. The, the importance here is... Um, there is no limit to the amount of times you should forgive someone who sins against you. And with this, the parable opens in verse 23. Um, a, a king is indebted, or not indebted, a, a servant owes a king a lot of money, right? A, a great sum of money. Um, but the king chose to cancel that debt because the servant begged him to cancel the debt, right? But the servant of the servant of the king owes that, that, that servant who owed the king money a smaller debt. But the servant chose not to forgive his servant of that smaller debt. And the king sees this and says, you know, I forgave you of this huge debt, but you didn't, you know, forgive your servant of this smaller debt. You know, you wicked servant, I cancel all of your debt um, because you begged me to. And starting with verse 33, shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? Verse 34, in anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. And you can end there, right? But verse 35, the last verse of, that cha uh, of this chapter, this is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart, right? Th th this servant was thrown into jail to be tortured because he, he did this awful thing and, and refused to extend that mercy that he received so very greatly um, to his servant. So I, I like how this one person phrases it. Um, Jesus tells Peter and us that we should see the sins committed against us in light of the sins God has forgiven us for. We should forgive just as God has forgiven us.